Hey guys, what's up? Fresh Sense Directors, so proud of all of you. Um, I just wanted to share a really quick bit of advice that was shared with me when I first promoted, um, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, basically, it's easy. It's this. Hitting director isn't a finish line. It's a huge goal, a huge step in your Sensei journey, but it's just the beginning of something much bigger um, than you've dealt with before. Um, director isn't a finish line, so now is not the time to throw your hands up, put your hands on your knees, and bend over, panting and begging for water. Um, and some, for some of you, I'm sure it felt like that getting here. So I want to make sure you understand that being a director um, comes with its own set of responsibilities. Um, you're now going to get emails whenever anyone on your team um, recruits someone so that you can reach out to them. You're going to get, um, you're going to have to start approving, I'm so sorry, Whew, uh, reinstatements and restorations and things like that. There's a lot of other things that come with it. There are some bonuses to being a director. Um, if you hit your numbers three months in a row, you get reunion registration for free. Six months in a row, and yes, they can overlap, you get leadership registration for free. Um, so there's all kinds of fun perks. And then if you're on Ascent Academy, you know that that comes with even more perks. Um, so I want, but I really want you guys to remember that it's not a finish line. You didn't just arrive somewhere. You just began something. Um, being a director is huge responsibility, um, and it takes a lot of work to maintain your title. But it is so, so worth it. There's going to be days where you feel like you are just paddling upstream and you're going to have that with every single level in Sensi. But that's not, that's not a bummer. Because you know what? Anything worth having takes work to get it. Um, and let me just tell you right now that Sensi is definitely worth having. Anything you want with Sensi is definitely worth having because it's going to pay you more than anything else uh, that you put your effort to in life will ever pay you, especially if you keep going. And the only way that you're going to maintain your director title is by recruiting. You have got to work on recruiting frontline. That has to be your focus of 2016, recruiting your frontline and increasing your PRV. Back to basics. Um, we really have to work on getting new frontline um, on and excited. You want them to... Um, immediately start hitting those shooting star, shining star, I mean, shooting star, sensational star. Those are so important. Make sure that every time somebody joins your team, you get them straight to shooting star and then sensational star as fast as they can, certified within their first month, um, if you can, uh, because it's going to pay you in spades as you continue to grow. Um, and then uh, as we kind of grow together, because a lot of us are new at what we're doing, um, we're going to learn new tricks and tips that keep our titles strong, our teams strong, um, because ideally, I mean, November's four times larger than like the second biggest month of the year. So it's very possible that your team wholesale volume right now is four times larger than it's going to be in a natural month. Well, that doesn't have to be the case. You do not have to be a statistic. You get to do whatever you want to do. And as a team, we're going to work on making sure you guys are able to hit your director numbers every single month. But it starts with you. It doesn't have anything to do with your team. It starts with you. It starts with you making sure that you never go into a month unprepared, that you never go into a month without knowing where your paycheck is going to come from. You've got to tie your paycheck to your calendar. You've got to be prepared. Every time a month starts, you should already have it completely booked. You should already know where at least $1,000 in PRV is coming from. Ideally, as a director, you're going to have 1500 Most directors do 2000 a month, even in the crazy struggle months, because your team will never do what you're not doing, so you have to be doing it yourself. Um, and sometimes even when you're doing it, your team still won't do it. But the thing is, the team you have right now, the moment you hit director, is not the team that's going to carry you to the further places in this company. So you have to continue to recruit and strengthen your team and uh, lead from uh, a point of where people respect you, they get excited about your successes, um, and then never, you always want to make sure that when you are working on a promotion, that you're trying to figure out how you can help others instead of yourself. Because um, if you're not focusing down and you're only looking at what you can get out of something or what you can earn or anything like that, you're going to feel so burnt out, like all the time. You're going to feel so t 
tired and you're going to always feel like your team is never good enough. And that's not fair to them because your team is plenty good enough, even if they're not making the numbers that you want them to. They all have their own individual stories. I mean, we did lose 40 this month. So that's 40 people who obviously don't have a pulse because they couldn't sell candles at Christmas. But <laughs> um, but those aren't who you're focusing on. I don't want you guys to focus on saving, um, re resurrecting the dead. You guys have to be giving birth to new babies. It's a lot easier than raising people from the dead. So don't worry about the people on your team who don't do anything. That is their choice, and it says nothing about you because I know, I mean, there's people who are the best of, of the best in this company, and they still have people on their team who won't do anything. It has nothing to do with them. It has everything to do with that person um, who's not doing anything. So make sure you don't take it personally. Um, and just constantly be recruiting, constantly be booking parties. You have to be doing parties. You've got to be doing, finding ways to meet new people because the people you know now are not going to last. You've got to find ways to meet new people. Um, fundraisers, basket parties, anything you can do to set the example for your team on how to constantly meet and add new people to their front line um, has to be your priority for 2016. So adding to your front line, adding to your PRV, leading by example, and um, basically beginning your new journey. Because uh, you did not make, it's not a finish line. It's a very huge, exciting party, um, but it's not a finish line. It's just the beginning of something that's so much more, so much bigger than you're going to be able to contain, um, especially as you start growing and you start getting exponential pay on your downline, you're going to realize how worth all of the work has been. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope all of you will take the time to watch this. I love you guys. I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. I'm excited that you're all my directors, that you are on this team, that we are all together in this, um, but I'm here for you. Um, and please don't hesitate to copy the things I do. I'm not perfect. Um, but if there's something that I have done and stopped doing, it's because it didn't work. Um, so if you ever have any questions about something, um, I've done it before. I know what I'm doing. Um, so if you guys need anything, don't hesitate to copy me, ask me questions or anything like that. I'm here for you. Bye.